What's up, that's babes? It's your girl Joy back with a quick video. I know I have not been consistent. I'm just tired. So I wanted to give you guys a brief update on what's going on. Uh, headed to um, like an urgent care because the cold is so annoying and they'll do a chest x-ray. Now if I was to go to my regular doctor, then I have to take the day off from work and blah, blah, blah. But I had um, a chest x-ray done, I think in like March, May, and it was fine, but I've been coughing since March and I had COVID in March, but the cough has not gone away. Um, they'll probably do another COVID test. I don't think I have COVID and a chest x-ray. So we'll see what happens there. Then with the infusion, um, it's weird, but I was on the phone again with my insurance and everybody wanted to pass the buck. I was transferred over four times and then I'm back to where I started. I was like, miss, I've been transferred so many times. I've been trying to get an infusion since October. And then I started having dizzy spells here and there. One day I had, one morning I had duty. I had to lean against the wall. They don't last, but I just had to get my bearings until it passed. And I never had those symptoms before. And just tired. So it's like I'm, I can muster up the energy to get through the school day. And I'm not as energetic. Um, but by the time I leave, I'm just wiped out. I can't do this. 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 I can't. I can't. Weekends, honestly, all I want to do is stay in bed. <laughs> so one lady said she would um, call me back and she wrote down some questions. I was like, okay, if the doctor is not going to accept a prescription for the infusion, then where can I go that will accept it? I said, because this is ridiculous. So long story short, I don't know. My insurance, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Somebody is sending the Medicaid or shipping the Medicaid or the medicine to an infusion center to my hematologist and it'll get there either tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday. Martin Luther King there, I don't have, I don't work. So therefore if it gets there Tuesday, then I have to take another day off from work. And subs are hard to get now. I know in one school district, they have 900 teachers out and only 500 and something subs. So they're getting the people from administration buildings to fill vacant spots. So, and they raised the substitute teacher pay, okay. And so, you know, to get a sub is it's not easy. So we'll see, it is what it is. I mean, I gotta do what I have to do for my health, right? Just did a chest x-ray. Um, he wants me to see my regular doctor to see a cardiologist because when I lie down, the coughing is worse. And so he says that could be a symptom of something else with the heart and a pulmonary specialist. He said, because 10 months is too long to still be coughing. I know I look a mess, don't worry about a child. Yeah, no, I clean up. <laughs> so I'm waiting on the chest x-ray results and we'll see and go from there. Blood pressure, he said is a little high, which the cardiologist would be the, you know, help with that. And then he's gonna give me a new pump, um, something a little stronger because the albuterol is really not working. So we'll see how that goes. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> So, finally made it to hematology, and that was not without drama. Um, I have to tell you when I leave out of here. So they said it should take about an hour and a half 
So we'll see how that goes. She just did my blood pressure high. So I go to a cardiologist um, next week. But I also think that it's been COVID related, but I don't know, heart disease runs in the family anyway. So we'll see. So a steroid treatment is given first and then after the steroids, um, they started the iron and this is the iron portion um, being completed. So that I'll go back next week for another dose. So I just finished at the oncology, oncology, rheumatology office. It's a place where you go get infusions. Um, it wasn't as private as the other place I went to. I go back next week. So next week I'll be seeing cardiology and coming back here. So just I'm gonna take a half a day off of school. I don't like to leave my kids, <laughs> but you know, I gotta do what I have to do to make sure, you know. I can still, the batteries are still going, working, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So, we got here, I had a 9 o'clock appointment, 9, 10, 11, 12. We waited an hour for the insurance. I guess it was about two hours for the infusion. A little uncomfortable. So, we'll see. Hopefully, by the second dose, I'll be feeling better. So, and I'll come back and do that next Friday. So, um, I have two appointments on Friday. So I will keep you posted on that. Hopefully, you know, this will alleviate some of my extreme fatigue. My blood level was super, super low. My iron level was super, super low. They thought I was in the hospital when um, they got my labs back. They was like, are you in the hospital? I'm like, no. So hopefully this will make me feel a little more energetic and not so tired. But the doctor said if I was to go for a blood transfusion at the hospital, it takes about three months for that to kick in. He said, so the iron is faster. So he was like, you know, it wouldn't really make a difference in the short term effect. So I'll keep you posted.